Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform into Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, before we get started, I have some fun news. This is a collaboration with the talented Victoria Lynn. Look at all of her looks. They're so beautiful, stunning. She's doing this series for Halloween where it's kind of like a glam take on all of these spooky, cool characters. So if you want to see any of her looks, she transformed into Jack Skeleton and her look is so amazing. So you want to check out her videos because they're honestly like mini movies. When I seen her intro that she put together for me and her, it's honestly just crazy. It blew me right away. So anyways, go check her out. Everything is linked below and let's get into this video. First, you're gonna grab some white face paint. This can be any type of white face paint and we're gonna just map out Sally's clothing. I'm just always looking at a reference photo. Um, it's very simple. She doesn't really have a whole lot going on with her outfits. So just on the arms, I'm making it look a little bit kind of jagged. I'm just kind of going up and down because her clothing, you know, they're kind of like stitched together. So next, I'm just going off the colors. Again, you could do any colors you wanted, but I'm using orange green and i'm going to use pink so i'm just taking an orange face paint here and i'm just going to color in half of my chest with orange nice and easy and then also i'm putting orange on the sides of my one shoulder here and then we're going to go in with some pink as well so next i'm taking the green and i'm putting green onto my one shoulder here like i said you can follow these colors or you can do whatever you want because at the end of the day it's your paint just put pink on the one side here as you see and i'm just making some basic squirrels with a larger brush and then a smaller brush so this is very easy you don't have to you know take a lot of time on this just make some random swirls and then just go back in with that purple and just start to fill in some lines there i'm also just taking a black eyeliner and i'm just mapping everything out now for for some shading you can skip this part if you don't want to take the time for it if you do want to take the time just grab some black brown and purple eyeshadow and you're just going to go in there's no right way to do it and just put down some colors i'm just putting down a darker shadow right where the two pieces of fabric meet so it look a little bit more realistic now a nice trick if you want to make some circles here just take any type of cap and then put your face paint on it and then just start to dab it so you get a perfect circle then with some black and then i'm just taking a black eyeliner and i'm going to make some little lines here again and like I said, none of this has to be perfect. You can do it any way you want. It's up to you. Um, some of these patterns, this side right here, it doesn't really look like the side of her clothing, but it's just what I decided to do. So you can do that if you want, or you don't have to. Next, I'm gonna take a light blue paint. This is water activated, and I'm just putting that all over my chest and my arms, and I'm just gonna go back in and fill it in. I'm also taking a white face paint. I'm just gonna make some easy stitches here right on the sides of my arms. Nothing to it, just a white paint and just go right down by your shoulder going into your armpit there. I'm also gonna put some stitches here on her chest. So I just make a line right down the middle and then a line right across. Very easy again, just like a little X here. And if you want to add more, you can add more. If you don't wanna add any, you don't have to add any. I'm also going in with a light blue eyeshadow and I'm going to just do some shading right around those little stitches there just so it pops a little bit more. Next I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm just going to outline those stitches so they stand out a little bit. And that's it, just keep outlining everything just so it pops and you can really see it in your photos or if you're going out for the night. And again, with that black eyeliner, I'm just going in and just drawing some little diagonal lines in different um, spots there, just so it kind of looks like a little stitch. Very easy again, don't spend too much time on this. Just make it nice and easy because it's fun and simple for Halloween. And yeah, just put them all the way up those little stitches. Perfect, and you are good to go. So now we're gonna go onto our face. I already put down my regular foundation and I did glue up my eyebrows. 
So we're just taking that same face paint, uh, the color that we put on our chest, and we want to match it onto our face. So it's kind of like a lightish blue here. I'm taking some eyeshadow and I'm gonna put it right in the corner of my eye and then a darker blue onto the outer corners of my eyes there. And again, you can use any type of blue eyeshadow. To extend that under your eye so everything looks nice and even. I put on some white eyeliner onto the upper eyes and then I'm taking some blue eyeliner and we're gonna make some little stitches onto her face there. And again, that same thing, just take your white and just add the little stitches. You can put some eyebrows here for her. I'm doing some red eyebrows just with a red eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with the lips and I'm doing some red lipstick on my lips. And that's it guys, she is very, very simple to do. And then I'm just putting in some contacts there and then I put on some eyelashes and that is it. Oh, and I put on a red wig. And that's it guys, now I am Sally. That's it, guys. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice, safe, fun Halloween. And I hope if you're going out for Halloween, you get lots of good candy. But don't forget to check your candy because, you know, you always got to check the candy. <laughs> Bye, guys.